Loading Electronic Video Assistance, E.V.A. Welcome back, Squatty. Hello, Squatty. I'm Piranha. Welcome to Squad Explained. Today, we take a close look at Squad's most famous game mode, Random, Advanced and Secure, or RAS or RAS. Random, Advanced and Secure is about two things, tickets and flags. In Random, Advanced and Secure, the team who has tickets left wins the game. The team without tickets lose the game. On normal or big maps, you start with 250 tickets. On small maps, you start with 200 tickets. So what is actually a ticket? If you get downed on the battlefield and give up, you lose a ticket. Also vehicle worth tickets, radios worth tickets, like everything worth tickets. And that means, take care. Because everything here and your team loses is worth tickets. At the start of the game, or by pressing simply caps lock, you can get additional information in the team select game mode info menu. By pressing on the information button, you can get additional information about your fraction brigade as well as the ones of Germany. Use this, because knowledge is power. A simple click on Mod Info button reveals your critical information about your game mode, potential flag locations, you can also get information about potential flag paths. Here's how the flag path works, actually. Flag paths can run straight from main to main, let's call it the middle layer, or left hand side or right hand side of it. In normal cases, every flag point excludes one potential path of the flags. This will help you to be on point at the right time. In our example, the first capture point is Dresna. And Dresna excludes the top layer. Our next cap point is the lower. And that means the middle layer is also out of the game. And now let us jump to the backup squad. The squad leader gets out of the truck and starts the cap. So that starts the indicator of capping. If your team is capping, the indicator is blue. If the enemy team is capturing, the indicator is red. If you are capping, you can also see it on the top right hand side. At the start of the game, every flag is in a supernatural state. And that actually means you can start a cap with just one person. And the maximum is at seven persons. Taking a full squad 75 seconds to capture it. Your enemies can't intervene in the cap directly, but they can actually kill you to stop the cap. So be aware and be careful. Capturing a natural flag grants you 20 tickets, by the way. In our example, our squad got taken out by capping flag number 3. And now the last remaining natural flag is in between both competing teams. And that means the end to the supernatural state. Now you and your Emanese team's forces can cancel each other out in terms of manpower to capture the flag. Since the majority of all players are on the third flag, we're trying to attack the fourth flag. Our full squad is packed into two MRAPs, driving directly to engage the Amini hub on the point. Our squad will get out and start a cap immediately. Let's take a closer look from the top-down perspective. Since the Amini team put everything into the attack, our squad has more manpower and firepower as well to take over the Amini flag. And that means we gain 60 tickets after the cap, as well as one radio and three men, which is a total sum of 83. Always prioritize your defense above the offense, guys. Otherwise, you end up in this situation. Ticket bleed. You lost your last flag, all your tickets gone, 60 tickets per minute. But I would give up, soldier. Next round could be better. Hey, fellow squaddy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Would you like to know more? Hey, squaddy. Feeling overwhelmed? Having trouble sinking that shot? No worries. Squad Explained and New to Squad are here to help you solve those problems. You would like to see the best out of Squad? Take a close look to Squad Omnia because he is the best of Squad. Would you like to know more? But you also can find gameplay on my channel. Thanks for watching. Piranha, over and out.